everyone, my name is Jess and today I have a special guest on my YouTube channel. Her name is Natalie and she is an emerging talent campus manager for North America, specifically for the Sales Academy. And if you've seen any of my other videos around the Sales Academy, this one will answer a lot of those questions that you had. So here's a conversation with her. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below, but let's dive right into it. I have Natalie Dawes with me. She is an emerging talent campus manager here at Dell Technologies, and she is the campus manager, I believe, for North America, covering Canada and the US for the Sales Academy. So welcome, thanks for joining. Thank you, Jessica, for having me. I'm looking forward to talking more about the Sales Academy program here at Dell today and, and what I do in this recruiting space. Awesome. So, I mean, that's a, a great uh, leeway into what do you really do on a day to day? <laughs> I mean, we probably wear a lot of hats, but what does your, your day to day look like? Absolutely. So it really can can vary depending on the time of the year. And the summer is definitely our planning stages, getting ready for the next school year, the next recruiting season. And but overall, for, for my role as a campus manager, I work with seven core schools across both the US as well as Canada. Um, and we with with these different schools, we partner a lot of times with their sales programs. We're trying to bring that sales talent, that emerging talent fresh to Dell. And so we really want to make sure that, you know, when we're, we're going to those those universities that we're finding students not only involved in sales, but other student organizations. So we go and speak to those meetings. We speak in classrooms and we also attend career fairs, other networking events, really ways um, to get engaged on campus. Um, but also we have other people on our team, which I help with the sourcing aspect. So we use LinkedIn, way up some of those other platforms, but overall just trying to fill those inside sales account manager and inside sales product specialist positions that all start with that sales academy training program. I had no idea that uh, that you did partner with universities. So that's really cool. Maybe closer to the end, I'll ask you which ones. Uh, I'll put you on the spot there. <laughs> Um, and for those that maybe have not seen my previous videos about Sales Academy and that interview with someone that went through the program, could you just quickly talk to us about what is the Dell, Dell uh, Sales Academy? Definitely. It's a great question. I know that there's a lot of different sales programs at Dell, so it can get a little bit confusing. Um, <laughs> but overall, this Sales Academy program is a 13-week development program for recent college graduates. And we like to keep it at that recent college grad age range, if you will, um, because we want to make it as seamless a transition as possible from the university setting to the corporate environment. And so being able to have a peer network around you of people all going through that next chapter of life and that stage together really helps you before you're kind of thrown into that, that full-time account manager or product specialist position. Right. And so the first four weeks of our program, it really is, you know, a lot of what the students are used to doing while they're in school of taking notes, listening to presentations, um, speakers from different parts of Dell will come in. So they're really able to learn how sales and marketing work together, sales and finance, sales and supply chain, because as you know, each of these groups have to, to really work together in order to, to make have the most success here at Dell. And yep. so really a lot of times within that four weeks, same part of that seamless transition, that's when we're also having the students deep dive into our portfolio and all of the products that we offer. And really depending on if you're going down that account manager path or the product specialist path is based off of really what, what products you're learning during those first four weeks. Um, and right. the account manager side, as you know, as you know, learns a lot of the client systems. So the laptops, the desktops, the peripherals, Whereas the product specialist is going to learn more of the enterprise portfolio, servers, storage, networking, security. And it sounds like a lot and it's overwhelming, but that's why we have those 13 weeks to really spread it out. Make sure you understand the content, really how to be a salesperson at Dell, how to ask the customers the right questions. And you'll end up doing role plays and cold calling and mentoring to truly understand right. what it's going to be like once you hit the sales floor. And I know uh, some people really hate uh, role playing or you know mock cold calls, but uh, I think it's such a safe space, right? Everyone is is in it together. And and uh, what about the people that are really done with school and and don't want to be in a classroom anymore? Are you getting positive feedback of people joining the program and saying this is you know exactly 
what I needed to, to get into the work workforce or what, what is the feedback around that? Yeah, no, that's a fantastic question. We've pretty much received positive feedback across the board. This program did used to be in person, and then when COVID hit, it was virtual, and it's still continuing to be virtual and remote. And we weren't exactly sure what that was going to look like, because I know right. for a lot of us, it can be hard to learn virtually, and you're tired of that from going to from college <laughs> and then now having to take that into your professional life. But honestly, even with being on Zoom, you're still still able to really understand that portfolio, still build those connections, those mentoring um, sessions that you'll be having. And honestly, I even though we do get a lot of times that, oh, I just studied for eight hours a day. Now I'm having to go do this in my personal <laughs> life. Yeah. I think they realize how much they need that um, in mm-hmm. order to be successful. I um, mean, because our portfolio is very large. So oh, yeah. you do need those times to really understand it and you'll be much happier at the end if you if you've really taken the time to learn and step out of your your comfort zone more than you might have originally thought yeah and and just think about it right you you were in school something that you paid for and now you get into this program where it is a paid program right you're you're an account manager or product specialist and getting paid to learn (laughs) is I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that but it is amazing um, and, and I think it's just such a gift to start your career in the, in the tech industry. I know you said uh, you look at university or college students. What about um, other types of people? Are, are you seeing other people applying from other industries? Is Dell open to that? Um, someone that's moving over, maybe a little bit older uh, and just looking to get into the tech industry? Yes, no, fantastic question. So. On the emerging talent side, which is, as I mentioned, um, the group that I recruit with specifically, we do only hire within one year of the graduation date um, for full-time and then rising seniors for our internships. But if you have been out of school for a couple of years, um, or maybe you have an associate's degree um, or just a high school diploma, we we still have a sales academy program. It just goes through our talent acquisition team. So they don't have that same university relations type of um, requirement. But um, it's one of those things that we're all still can share the same information. It's still the same training program and structure that leads into those two full-time roles. So we do have both of those options if you don't meet necessarily that recent grad requirement. Oh, cool. I, I had no idea there was two different groups that were managing that. I think that's great. Um, I know that some people in the sales academy in Canada came from the other side, right? They, they did a full pivot from the hospitality industry into the tech Absolutely. and uh, it's great. So I think really any age, again, depending on which which path you go is is great time to start, right? <laughs> So when people are applying, how does that work? The whole process of, you know, maybe they meet you at a a trade show or a career fair. How does that application process work? Yes, it's very simple. I will say, Um, I know a lot of other groups within Dell and even other companies have kind of extensive interview processes, maybe two, three, four. Ours is overall very simple. We want it um, to be as streamlined as possible. So if, for example, I do meet, you know, one of you all at a career fair, um, if you are interested in our program, I'll normally talk with you a little bit more there while I'm on campus. Maybe we can even meet for coffee um, to get that extra one-on-one time. Or if we don't have um, that availability, then we would set up a phone call um, really just to make sure that you understand the program program, what the expectations are, and me to get to know you a little bit and your background. Um, And then if we both feel good from there, we would have you meet with what we call an ambassador. And so this is someone that has gone through Sales Academy, but they're currently in that account manager or product specialist role. So they can really Yes, it's a super neat add-on. They can really give you the full understanding of their day-to-day types of customers they work with, maybe their own career and growth. They've had at Dell, um, along with the thoughts on Dell culture, ERG involvement, all of those exciting things you're able to learn from that ambassador. And from that point, you pretty much transition and interview with two sales managers virtually um, before you find out if you receive an offer or not. And these two sales managers, and and hold on, I'll go back a second. The ambassador program, I think, is amazing. And I always tell people if they're looking to apply at Dell, they should talk to someone at Dell prior, and then you get a, a feel for what the role is like. But having someone that just went through the sales academy that's fully enrolled, that's a bravo Dell for organizing that. Um, and, and so the 
the interview stage, I know it can be super scary sometimes to have two uh, ISMs or sales managers interviewing you. Um, what What is the criteria? What are they looking for? Is there any tips that you have for people that have done the extra work, they're watching this video, any hidden tips that you have for them to stand out? One hundred percent. I and I will say from my own experience, I went through Sales Academy almost four years ago and I did not have a tech background. I didn't even really have sales experience. So I was very nervous coming in, didn't even know what a server was. Um, and I promise you that even if you don't have any of those experiences, you can be successful in a sales role at Dell. Um, so I would say as far as advice goes, when you are interviewing with those two sales managers, is they know you might not necessarily, especially if you're a recent grad, have that five, 10 years of experience, but they want to truly get to know you for who you are. They can yeah. read your resume. They see what's on that paper, but it's how you talk and walk through the experiences that you've had, the knowledge and skill sets that you can bring to the table to transfer into a sales role at Dell. And so I think it's something that even if you, like I said, had, don't have a particular sales job that you, from the past, if you've been involved in a student organization or had leadership opportunities within that group, um, or maybe a certain project that you worked on for, you know, several months during a, a semester at the university level, all of those different experiences that you have can translate. And so yeah. it's really just how you're able to share that with those managers and knowing that, you know, you do have a certain skill set. We all come from different walks of life and different backgrounds. Um, and that's truly what they're looking for. They don't want to hear that, you know, oh, you know, 12 things about Dell servers when maybe you didn't even know that have never <laughs> built a computer in your life. So yeah. don't, you know, don't kind of um, fluff up that resume. Just truly be yourself as cheesy as it sounds. I couldn't agree more. Even when I do interviews, it doesn't matter at what level you you're looking for people to be their authentic self. I remember my first interview 11 years ago, I memorized the components of a computer. Nobody was impressed. <laughs> Everyone knew I was memorizing. <laughs> I think I, I took like a Best Buy flyer and just memorized a laptop config. And oh, okay. um, it, it's really important, like you just said, how you communicate that experience, mm -hmm. because you can really take any experience that you have and, and make it into, you know, fit into a sales role. Um, so that's great. That's really good advice. Um, and so you talked about what you're looking for, what can what you can do to stand out. Uh, you talked a little bit about the 13 weeks. After the 13 weeks, um, what happens then? Yes, great question. One I get all the time as far as next steps go. Um, so I think people sometimes have um, a thought process that, okay, it's a training program, it's 13 weeks, so it must be that I have to pass this in order to move forward on, but it right. actually is 100% placement, so it's not that pass or fail type of training. As soon as your 13 weeks are over, you are placed on a team across one of the sales segments at Dell, and you all will learn about each of those segments while you're in training from both your sales academy managers as well as mentors, so you'll know exactly the type of customers that you'll be working with, whether you know that's public accounts, commercial, um, and so once you're placed, you know, after training that, like I said, that's 100%. Um, and another neat thing that I wanted to add in that I am able to share is that your commission is actually guaranteed for the first six months that you are at Dell. And um, so it is a, a commission based split, um, but yep. you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, no, I didn't hit my first quarter. You'll still get paid out as if you did hit 100 percent as long as it's within that six month time frame. Absolutely. I think that's that's huge. Uh, a lot of people don't know that. So thanks for sharing that. And thanks for confirming that. Um, and, and I think some people get scared of the commission, right? When they're they're not coming from a sales background, this is their first sales experience. As long as you're doing the right things and moving along and, and learning, it is very attainable, right? And in my opinion, it, it, uh, I, I've seen a lot of success from the sales academy. Specifically, the person that I, that I previously interviewed, they 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 messaged me the other day and saying they hit their quota and they're not on guarantee okay. anymore and they're super excited and yeah so I, I think you just believe in yourself and and having that guarantee really makes it easier to to jump in and, and get started um and and so thinking thinking of a couple of questions here how do people connect with you is there any upcoming events, or I know the school year is starting very soon again. Um, how, how do people 
apply and what uh, when are you hiring? Yes, great question. So one thing I'll say first is that our next Sales Academy class is coming up in January. So for those of you that maybe just graduated in May, August, sometime this summer, or even are graduating in December, you are eligible to apply for that January class. And then the next one after that will be next August 2023. So kind of depending on your grad date at that point. And we do have a summer internship for rising seniors as well. Um, I will start hitting the road to travel um, as early um, as September 6th, I believe. So coming up here pretty soon. And um, Jessica, I will definitely share my email um, with you if you want to put that um, in the comment section. I want to make sure anyone can get a hold of me if they are interested. You're going to get a lot of people writing you now. (laughs) That's fine. That's I'm open to that. (laughs) Well, for anyone watching, if it gets overwhelming and uh, we decide to remove it, that's why. But we will put links on uh, on in in the comment section. We'll put links of where to apply and uh, and all the upcoming events. It would be great to also get some sort of list of the, the universities and, and the programs that would be wonderful to add as well. So look for that below when we do have that. And then also one last question I have, and, and you can feel free to answer and then share any other information, but there's a lot of people that want to apply that are sitting on the fence and they don't know if this program is for them. Um, what would you say to those people that just don't know yet? Absolutely. Um, that I was in your shoes 100 <laughs> percent. Actually, when I walked across the stage to graduate back in 2018, I did not have my job at Dell yet. I wasn't sure what I was going to do. Um, so if you were in that position, do not worry. Uh, you know, it will work out. I know everyone always tells you that, but it really does. And you're going to end up in the role that you're supposed to be in at that company. Um, but I would say overall, you know, if it's necessarily because of tech sales and you don't have that background or don't know anything about the tech industry, that's okay. We This 13 weeks is going to prepare you and teach you everything you need to know to be successful in this role. And the other thing I would say is even if sales is something that was not on your mind, it's a fantastic place to start. It's a great way to get your foot in the door at a company like Dell. Um, you really are able to meet so many dis- different types of people and network, and you might end up loving sales, and you're able to move up and have so many different career opportunities within sales, but also outside of sales. You might end up wanting to start mentoring and meet with people within marketing or HR or supply chain. I moved from sales to HR within two and a half years, wow. and- I just think it's something that you have all of these opportunities at your fingertips if you're willing to take that next step, take the initiative and really step out of your comfort zone. Oh, I love that. That's so good. I and I totally forgot you're you're the the star here, right? You started in Sales Academy and now look at you, emerging talent campus manager for North America. I think it's incredible. I don't think you probably imagined yourself in this role four years ago, right? When you you were not sure what you wanted to do. So I think it's a great opportunity to get your foot in the door and discover what you want to do. It's a little scary when you finish university or college. Um, I certainly did not plan to go to Dell either. And uh, here we are. And and uh, I think we're just getting started. So thank you so much for, for joining me today. Any last comments? I think we really finished it well with that last comment from you. Um, but she will be back. I think we're going to do a part two. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment below. I really enjoyed having you. I absolutely loved hearing the story. I would maybe even love hearing your career story of how you moved over to HR and, uh, looking forward to kicking things off. Everyone apply for the roles. We're going to put them there. Her email is there, as she said, and we will see you next Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me.